welcome back to my channel the deep sea man and i hope you guys understood the first part of the video in this part again i think i need to split this in a couple of parts so in this part we're just going to cover how the liquid cargo reaches from the tank to the cmr room and how it returns back to the tanks let's start from the tank domes where the fgss pump is mounted the fuel gas supply pump is mounted this is a tank dome that does not have a pump we have pumps here only in tank 2 and tank 4 so tank 1 and 3 does not have the pump this is the fuel gas supply pump that you see at one of my tanks it's a variable variable speed pump deep well type so this guy delivers into this line this is the discharge line going straight into the CMR room the compressor and motor room and that other pipe that you see with that valve there that's the return valve back to the tank or a recirculation valve so when we start the pump we alternately open and shut the discharge valves to keep the pressures in the line from there this comes here as you see from the FGS pump it comes here into the compressor motor room and it also leaves back to the tanks from there now inside the CMR room that's where the pipes come in and now the first thing where they enter they enter a set of filters those are two filters in parallel and remember this is not like any other filter if we need to do that filter isolate the filter we have to purge it with nitrogen and only then we can open the filter so here is the liquid drum this has to be always filled with liquid only then we can start the other parts of the system the return line from this goes via return valve and back to the cargo tanks because this is still liquid still not contaminated no chance of contamination with any fuel or any other systems so this is returning back to the cargo tanks as we see from here so now let me take you to the cargo control room this is the screen and this is a live video when the system is actually in operation you can pause the video and actually look at the screens you can see that I have two deep well, uh, two fuel gas supply pumps, the one highlighted in green that's discharging into the discharge valve. That's the return line to the tank, back to the tank. Remember the one we saw on, at the tank dome and now it's discharging. This the discharge valve coming into the filters that we've seen then into the liquid drum. Well, I hope you got a gist of the system, how the fuel the cargo in this case ethane from the tank is delivered to the CMR room the compressor motor room we are calling it a compressor motor room because my compressors and motors are in the same room the motors are EX rated motors hence one room called as CMR room so the cargo the ethane the fuel from the tank is delivered by the FGS the fuel gas supply pumps into the delivery line straight into the CMR room from the CMR inside the CMR room it goes via filters into the liquid drum the return from the liquid drum again comes back to the tanks via the liquid line. This is very important to maintain the pressure of the pumps and also during the start of startup of the system so that the whole whole system comes down to about minus 60, minus 65 degrees. All right, this is my last video log for the day. I'm out. The last section will have really good quality because it's from a GoPro. It's not from an intrinsically safe camera, which has pretty lousy videos. Bye bye. One very important thing. I hope you guys pause the video and read the nomenclature that I use, the full forms, so that the next time I don't have to type the whole thing again. So remember, FGSS, Fuel Gas Supply System. Bye-bye, take care. From the next one, we will do from the liquid drum to the vaporizer unit to the gas valve train to the double wall pipes and just about into the engine room. The engine room has to be another one. Good night.